Let's get into this tea that helps to fight hair loss and let's find a new protective style as we begin week six of our protective style challenge. All right, y'all, this is week six of our protective style challenge. Don't forget, I'm at least one week ahead of you guys. And y'all, this style is done. I've worn this style for two weeks. It's time to shampoo, cleanse our hair, and get into making this tea that helps block DHT and help fight alopecia areata. So let's jump into the video. All right, we're gonna make this tea similar to last week, but just a bit stronger as this week I want a stronger tea. I'm gonna go in with my omelet powder and add in two tablespoons. Next up is my green tea leaves. If you have tea bags, you can use those as well. I'll be adding two tablespoons of the green tea. You can add two tea bags. Next is our fenugreek seeds. I will also go in with two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds and then go in with two cups of boiling distilled water and give that a nice and good stir. We're gonna let this again set for at least three to four hours. We want the mucilage, especially from the fenugreek seeds, to extract and that takes a little bit of time. So make sure you stir to agitate the water as well as if you're using the green tea leaves. You'll notice once they become hydrated that they expand and all the nutrients are going into the tea. So after about three hours, y'all, I'm ready to decant some of the mixture off to use as my final rinse or leave-in throughout this week. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna take down my hair and begin the cleansing process, so let's get into it. Now I ran my hair under some warm water, and now I'm just pulling out my hair to kind of finger detangle and get any of the shed hairs out, y'all. It's been two weeks since my hair has been cleansed, so I don't want to just go in with the shampoo process right away. So I'm just separating and finger detangling. All right, now I'm going to go in with my purple shampoo. And y'all, it's actually not going to lather up that much because I have a ton of product and build up on my hair. But I'm going to go in, focus on my scalp, and I'm actually going to cleanse my hair twice, even though right now you're not seeing that in the step. But I do shampoo twice to make sure I get rid of any dirt and toxins from my hair. Next up is my good old savior, my O and Aloe deep conditioner, y'all. This is going to bring back all of the moisture, replenish my strands. It has so much slip here. I'm just showing you guys. I first apply it all the way around on the outside of my hair, just making sure everything gets fully saturated, working it around. And then, y'all, I actually go in into sections, making sure every section is covered. And I also use this time to finger detangle my hair. And if there's any knots, I definitely get them out in this process. So I just take my time and make sure my hair is fully coated. And then go ahead and steam for about 45 minutes to an hour. Again, it's been about two weeks since my hair has had any real moisture. So after I steam my hair for about an hour, I rinse it out, y'all, and my hair feels like soft, fluffy goodness. And y'all, I actually lost some of the footage of me applying my leave-in and my hibiscus styler to my hair, as well as the hair tea. So I'm just cutting and using pieces from another older video I did, but this was the same similar process. So I go in with the hair tea first and then use the leave-in conditioner and the hibiscus cellar to moisturize my hair. Now I want to talk a little bit more about some of the properties of our tea. We know last week I went into detail about how these herbs help to fight male and female pattern baldness because they help block DHT, which then builds up on the hair follicle, causing that hair loss. But this week I want to talk a little bit more on how these herbs may be responsible for regrowing hair and regrowing hair at a faster rate. For instance, what study done on green tea indicated that the major polyphenol, which is EGCG, is responsible for not only inhibiting 5-alpha reductase, and we know that is the one that actually leads to DHT, but also that EGCG actually stimulates the hair follicles, causing them to regrow hair at a faster rate. Some of the effects have been said to be found when using omelet powder. The rich vitamins and antioxidants such as vitamin C, iron, and calcium were said to help increase blood circulation on the scalp and then stimulate that hair growth. And when it comes to fenugreek, there is a patent out indicating that trigonoline, which is found in fenugreek, is responsible for stimulating and enhancing hair growth in living creatures. 
So all three of these herbs are wonderful for not only fighting hair loss, especially the androgenic alopecia, but also regrowing those hair strands, delivering nutrients, oxygen, vitamins that are necessary to make sure our hair follicles get all the nutrients needed to grow long and strong. All right, you guys, so this week I'm focusing on getting a new protective style in my hair. So after my hair has been nice and moisturized, I twisted up my two bangs and then put my hair into two pigtails. I'm also gonna just twist up each pigtail into one large twist. Turn around to the back and then pin the hair to the opposite side of the head. Y'all, I'm going to put my scarf on and let this sit for a while. And then voila, y'all. This is about maybe an hour later. My hair looks so healthy and moisturized. And I have this snappy hair tie that I'm going to be using. I'm going to pop that on. And y'all, this is the look for the week. Make sure you stay tuned for next week as we start week seven of our Protect Us Out challenge. But that's it for this time. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.